everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Woohoo! So today we're going to be doing a morning routine. So right now my hair is kind of wet. I'll explain why. My face is still a little bit damp, but it's gonna get more wet as time goes on. Um, so I'm doing a morning routine. Um, I just took a shower and the first thing I do after I shower is dry off my body, obviously, but then I use a bunch of different lotions on my body. So instead of showing you that, because I'll get demonetized, I'm just going to tell you the products I use and tell you where I put them. And then I'm going to stop filming, do that, and then we'll just keep going with whatever comes next. So... The first lotion I use is the Cotton Candy Body Cream with Aloe and Vitamin E. This is from Splash. I use this on my feet because I get a lot of dry skin on my feet, like really, really bad. And I currently have an itch on my ankle. I don't know why. Um, my skin's apparently reacting to something, which is a fun. <laughs> Not a good time for my skin to be reacting to something today. Um, I think it's because I recently shaved, um, so it might be that. But this I put on the bottoms of my feet uh, because I get dry skin a lot there. Um, so I'm going to cut filming, do that, and then we'll do the other lotion. Woohoo! But yeah, this is for the bottoms of my feet. It's a body cream. It's cotton candy scented. It smells really, really good. I recently got a pedicure and a manicure. So as you can see, my nails are looking very good right now. And my toes are currently this bright, hot pink color. So that's kind of fun. So our next lotion, this is the Cotton Candy Body Lotion, also from Splash. This is going to go um, on my knees. This goes on my knees. Um, for reasons being, um, knees can get very dry. Like the skin on your knees can get very dry. So I apply this to my knees. Um, so that's that. And then... I have more lotions that go in like multiple places. Um, so that's a little bit more complicated. Um, but this stuff specifically goes on my knees. So I'm getting good. So the next lotion I use is the Lubriderm Daily Moisture Lotion Normal to Dry Skin Fragrance Free. So I put this on all of my tattoos. So what I like to do is when putting on lotions, I like to go in order of what's on my body. So I do feet, knees. My tattoos are on like multiple parts of my body. Um, so I'm gonna do this um, first because I kind of have like high socks today. So, and I have two tattoos that are like right on my ankles. Um, so I'm gonna apply this to all my tattoos. Um, and then the last lotion that goes on my legs, I'll show you. Well, actually I have two right now, so I'll show you both. Okay, so all of my tattoos are done. And then, I recently shaved my legs, so I've been using the Zetafil Moisturizing Lotion. This is for body and face. I've been using this on my legs after I just recently shaved. Um, because when you shave, usually your skin can get really dry and it gets kind of itchy and patchy. So I'm using this to try and moisturize and bring life back into my skin. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to do the last lotion that goes on my body. And then we're going to start working on other areas, particularly my face. So the last lotion I have is this coconut body lotion. I use this on my stretch marks. Yes, I have stretch marks. We don't need to get into it right now. Um, if some people are shocked by this, then like get over it. Um, but yeah, I have stretch marks. Uh, a lot of people do. And I just apply this, um, not to like make them go away, but just to like, like moisturize the area of the skin. Cause usually, especially if you have stretch marks, like I have stretch marks on the inside of my thighs. And if I'm wearing shorts, they rub together. It's very painful. This kind of makes that a little bit less painful. Painful. Um, and kind of helps with that sort of pain. So I'm gonna put this on all of my stretch marks and uh, yeah. Okay, so that's all the lotions done. And then the last thing I put on my body is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration Skin Protectant. So I've only been using this for a while, but I put that right here on where I have um, 
this like break, I have a rash. That's the skin disorder that I have. And this kind of just helps with like, if it gets itchy or anything. So like right there, and it's also on the other side of my neck. So put in the nose and that's also on my chest. So I'm gonna stop filming to apply that. And then we'll be able to move on to my hair and my face. Um, because I have a lot of stuff. Ooh, sorry, I'm really trying not to flash anybody. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I put on my face. Um, and I have one thing that I put on my hair, but I just recently started using it. Um, so I think we're going to do hair first because my hair is still damp. Um, so we're going to do that first. Don't move on. See, see, look at that. That's just horrible so as you can see it's like a trifecta but this just helps like reduce the itchiness of it um and I apply this like twice or maybe three times a day because it's meant to help with like eczema and stuff so it's kind of like the same thing um so that's why I use it is to like help with those sort of like skin problems so then we're going to move on to hair. So the shampoo and conditioner I used today, I actually used these samples. This is Not Your Mother's Anti-Frizz Smooth Mood Shampoo and Conditioner. I used these and my hair is still pretty damp. So what we're going to use is the Aquage C Extend Ultimate Color Care Wear Thermal V Silkening Oil Treatment. So this is to create silky, smooth and frizz free hair. So we're going to twist this to unlock it and we're just going to apply some to the hand and just put this right on the hair. I might have to use more to like spread it out because we were meant to apply it to damp hair because then you're going to blow dry it. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit more, not a lot, just a little bit more to get like all of it covered. And we want to make sure it's evenly distributed. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick because we're covered in this oil. Because it is like an oil kind of thing. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick. So after this, we'll start working on the face. Um, so there's stuff I use every day and stuff I use like a couple times a week. Um, and we're going to be using everything we can today because it's Tuesday, it's been a couple days since I used a couple of products because um, they're meant to be just a couple times a week, um, like this one. So we're gonna use one, two, three, four products on our face. That's for lips, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we need to comb through evenly. So we're just gonna take this comb and just Comb it through, make sure it's all evenly distributed. Ugh. Oh, that was a nice tangle there. Make sure we get the back of the hair. As you can see, I have this little flick in the back of my hair. That's already a natural curl. It's coming in. It should all be evenly distributed. Sorry, I'm going to try and close this. And now I'm just going to do a time lapse of me blow drying my hair because I know hair dryer noise is annoying. Oops. One second. Okay, so I'm going to throw these away, so I'll do that in a minute. Um, but now I'm just going to blow dry my hair and I'm going to do a time lapse of that because no one wants to watch me blow dry my hair. It's kind of boring. Oh, and something I didn't clarify is I use this every time I wash my hair. So if I'm not washing my hair that day, um, I won't use this. Okay, so there's our hair. I'm going to pull this back for a minute while I wash my face and everything. So I already did this step. Like I rinsed off what I needed to in the shower. But before I get to sleep at night, I use this uh, solution, this drying lotion from Mario Badescu. Um, 
So what you do is um, before bed, after you like cleanse and swab everything, you put this on, on all of the pimples. And it's meant to like help like dry them out. So I already rinsed off the remainders of that. And then we have a couple of pimples on the face today. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop those with our little tool. Come on, little guy. Mm. Got it. We have one right here. I don't know if y'all like pimple popping videos. I do. There we go. Okay, I think that's all the ones that have heads today. But even if I didn't rinse everything off, we're gonna rinse it off anyways when we wash our face. So we're gonna unplug this because safety. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna put a hair dry hair dry right next to a sink full of water, obviously. So we're just gonna fill up the sink with water. We're gonna use a mixture of hot and cold water. So I'm gonna let this water get hot. And then we're gonna fill up the sink because it's easier to do that rather than like this sink is really dirty. I'm gonna clean it right after this. Ooh, there's the drain. And then the cleanser we're gonna use is the Elf Pure Skin Cleanser. Here you go. There it is. I've been using this, so I use this every morning and night because um, that's what it says on the bottle. I have all the directions. Um, so this is the first thing we're going to do. And we're not going to put a spot treatment on because we did that overnight, so we don't have to worry about it. So, I got to get my face all damp first thing. So, get my face all damp. We're ready to go. This might make my hair wet again, but it's fine. I'll just dry her cow. Okay, face is all damp. Don't know why I'm drying my hands. Um, and then we're going to take our cleanser. I don't use a lot. I tend to just use like that much. And I'm starting the cheeks and just massage it into the face. And it's meant to be a gentle massage. Don't scrub it. That's a lot of problems with like with face cleansers, a lot of people think you're meant to scrub it in. No, it's meant to be like a gentle massage. Cause if you scrub it in, you're actually gonna harm your skin more than like help it. I see that a lot with like guys, if they do use facial wash, which is very rare. Um, if they do, they're just like, Brr. it's like, no, that's not gonna help your face. That's actually gonna make it worse. You're gonna irritate your skin if you do that. Like, it's not like your body where you like scrub, scrub, scrub. It's like massage, massage. Okay, so that's all over my face. So then we're just gonna rinse this off. And then I'm gonna pat it dry. It says to pat dry, which I think a lot of people like to like get to go from no, you're meant to pat it. Because the whole point of cleansing your face and doing a skincare routine is you're trying to protect your skin. Like you're trying to help fix your skin, you know? And a lot of people don't realize that. I'm just gonna dry these parts of my hair that got a little bit wet. So now our face is patted dry. So this we use twice a day, morning and night. Next we have something we use daily. This is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. It's from Good Molecules. So we're going to shake this and you're supposed to apply this after you cleanse your skin. That's how most serums are. Um, you apply them after you cleanse your skin. Now I don't have a toner. Unfortunately, I don't have a toner with me. Um, I actually don't have any toner. I need to get toner. Um, but yeah, so 
This you're meant to allow to fully absorb before applying anything else to the skin. This is suitable for daily use. You can use it morning or night. I use it in the morning. And then we just, whoop, and we just use this once a day with like a drop on each part of the face. Maybe a little bit more. I never used a serum for this one, so I really don't know if I'm doing this correctly. And then I'm just gonna massage this, just spread it out and let it fully absorb into the skin. This actually has helped because my skin does have a lot of discoloration. Um, especially when it comes to like, not like redness, but I have a lot of dark spots. And something I like to use is this discoloration serum. So next, while this is absorbing into the skin, we're going to use the Glow Up Fifth Beauty Smoothest Silk Hand and Body Scrub. So this is meant to be used two to three times a week. The last time I used this was on Sunday, so I think I'll use it today. And I usually just apply it on my hands. Um, and that's like the best place to put it. So your hands need to already be damp. Like so. So we're just going to get this all damp. And then you're supposed to apply a quarter sized amount of wet skin massage in large circle motions. So get some on this side, some on this side, and then just massage into the hand. Y'all might think this is gross. I think it's kind of cool. Exfoliating, like I don't usually exfoliate my skin enough. Um, but this is, this is a good thing to use. Woohoo! Then we're gonna do the other hand. Give up the wrist a little bit. Do the palms of the hands as well. Do the insides of the wrist. You just want to get as much of the hand as possible. And then we're just gonna rinse this off. Your skin's gonna feel a little bit weird, but it does feel smooth after applying this. It does feel smooth. So my phone case has gotten all wet and ruined, so we're gonna move that out of the way. Okay. So this is something we use two to three times a week, so I probably won't use this again this week. Um, I might do it once. Um, this is something you use two to three times a week. So I'm still going to let this absorb a little bit more. And while that's absorbing, I'm going to brush my teeth. Because that's smart. Um, so I'm just going to brush my teeth real quick. Now my eyebrows don't need plucking at the moment, so I don't have to worry about that. If they did need plucking, I'd probably do that like before I cleanse my skin. Um, I probably pluck them just a little bit. Um, or maybe even after I cleanse my skin, I do that. Uh -huh. We're gonna read the show, we're not editing.
Okay, so brush my teeth. And now since we do that, we're gonna use the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. Like, this is from Fresh. I don't know if this has SPF in it, but we're gonna use it. Um, it's like a lip treatment. Like so. And then now that that oil has fully absorbed into the skin, we're gonna use our moisturizer. This is the Bonajour Green Tea Water Balm Moisturizer. Um, so we're gonna apply this gently. So we're just gonna take a little bit and just apply this onto the face. I think I use a lot. That is a lot of moisturizer. I did not need to use this much. Woo! And then just apply to the neck as well. I'm trying to spread it out so there's not too much on the face. Boop, 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 boop. I'm not going to be doing a makeup look today. Not going to be doing any makeup today. Um, because I'm seeing Cameron, but I don't really feel the need to do makeup today. Because I have to wear makeup every time I go to work. And that means I'm wearing makeup like multiple times a week, which I never used to do. Um, but here we go, skin routine. There's that. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. I don't really have a super high quality sunscreen, but I have the Banana Boat New Light As Air Sunscreen Lotion. This is SPF 50 because I need a lot. And we're just gonna take, is this expired? No, it has. We're just gonna take a teeny bit, tiniest amount and just go swipe, 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 and swipe. And just do this. Now, one thing about okay, so TikTok, there are a bunch of people on TikTok that do like these intense, like morning routines and skin routines and all of this stuff. And I think a skin routine is great. I do think more people should have skin routines, but I don't think it needs to be as excessive. Like, I think a lot of people use, like, a lot of products. Like, more than they need to. Because it's like, I love that you care about your skin and all this stuff, and you should. And there's definitely, like, you should care about your skin. But it feels kind of excessive. Like, it feels like a lot. And I'm like, I, I do my skin routine now. Like, I wasn't, and now I've started to do, like, a skin routine. But mine is more like my skin was super bad. I need to start doing a skin routine, right? These people have flawless skin already. And it's like, is it because they're using all these products or is there enough a reason? And I was watching this TikTok and this person was like, you know what? I've watched these skincare routine videos. And it's awesome that people care about their skin so much. But it's so much, like so many products, like more than you'd ever need to use. And it's like, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. So I'm going to cut real quick and I'm going to um, finish getting dressed, um, put on some deodorant, and I'm going to show you the fragrance that I'm going to wear. So I'll be right back. So I've been using this thing as a binder it's not actually a binder i think it's like a compression shirt that you're meant to wear when you work out i got it from old navy i got no but i actually like this a lot more than a binder it's not too tight it's very breathable um i don't sweat as much when i'm wearing it and it's two layers so you have the layer that goes over your chest 
And then you have the layer that works as a shirt. So it goes like all the way down your torso, pretty much. Um, it doesn't ride up as much as um, a chest binder usually does. Um, so it's really, really cool. Oh, the deodorant I use is the Dove Powder. I might start using a different deodorant, I don't know. But I use roll-on deodorant. And then the shirt we're gonna wear is this Krusty Krab t-shirt that has the menu for the Krusty Krab eye. So it's like I'm working at the Krusty Krab. Um, so we have that. And then the last thing I'm gonna use is actually a Freddy Nights. This is a mini Dolce from Dolce & Gabbana. So it's like this kind of contraption, so I just put a little drops on the wrist and just do that. It smells amazing. It's like gorgeous scent. Okay, so that is my morning routine. In a nutshell, thank you so much for watching. I had a really fun time with you guys. Um, if y'all want to see me do my night routine, which is very similar, it's just I use a couple of different products. Um, if you want to see me do my night routine, I'll definitely do that sometime soon. Maybe I'll film that later today. Um, I'll have a makeup look ready soon. I'm going to do an updated vinyl collection uh, sometime soon. Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be doing as much as I can. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for continuing to watch these videos. Thank you for watching that pink makeup look video that I recently did. It took forever to upload. But that's what happens when you upload on your phone on YouTube. It takes a really long time. Because um, I haven't been able to like upload for my computer recently. So I've been uploading for YouTube on my phone. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching that video. Like this video if you thought it was interesting. Comment what videos I should make next. Um, subscribe for more routines, uh, skincare, makeup looks. I think my skin looks really good. Like, it's gotten better. I get that pink makeup look, my skin was like, bleh. And now it's kind of like, it looks a little bit more fresh, more nice, more interesting. Um, what else do I have to say? Hit the notification bell for a new video um, as soon as I can. Um, my plan with uploading videos is every time a video gets to double digit views, I upload a new video. Um, so that might mean there's a new video every week. It might mean there's a new video every couple of days. We'll see. We'll find out. It depends on you, how often you guys watch the videos. Um, follow the social media links in the description below. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, fandom blog, other blog, Twitter. Um, I'm actually going to put a makeup and beauty playlist right here. And then the video I'm going to put, um... I have a video of me using Sephora products for my skin. I might use that. It didn't get a lot of views, but I'll I'll put it right here. And maybe you guys will be into that. And then subscribe right here. And thank you so much. And those links will also be in the description at the very bottom. Thank you. Bye-bye.